Good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with 2018 Panini Crown. Nope, Panini Chronicles. Too many C's here. Chronicles Baseball. Four. Oh, we were just had Crown Royale in the brain. Chronicles Baseball. Four box. Random team break number eight from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. One spot gets you two teams in a four box break. All baseball teams are in. Let's randomize that list seven times. Two and a five. Both lists seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There you go. We've got Robert down to TJP. And then seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. After seven times, we've got the Tigers on top and the Blue Jays on the bottom. Robert with the Tigers, Ed Ram with the Nationals, Coop with the Braves, Kip with the Diamondbacks, Robert with the Rays, Matthew with the Cardinals, Coop with the Rockies, Robert with the Pirates, Dan with the A's, Matthew with the Astros, Senyin with the Phillies, Coop with the Orioles, Robert with the Mariners, Dan with the White Sox, uh, Bobby Riddle with the Reds, Scott Cooper with the Royals, John with the Red Sox, Will with the Twins, Ed Ram with the Angels, Joe Kroll, your last spot mojos are right next to each other, Cubs and Yankees, Kip with the Indians, TJP with the Rangers, Will with the Giants, Send you in with the Dodgers rivalry right there. Mets for John. Bobby with the Padres. Coop with the Marlins, the Brewers, and TJP with the Blue Jays. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and these right here are the last four boxes of that of that particular case. All right, any trades? No? Not even a whisper of a trade. All right, well, we'll close it up then. Trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. Good luck, everyone. Seen some nice stuff pop out of here, folks. Brand new release. We've blasted through eight breaks of this, four boxes at a time. Thanks, everyone. All right, let's get the official print out here. There you go. All right. Good luck, everyone. Oh, Chrome Random is down to one. Well, it looks like that's going to fill. It looks like it'll be Crown Royale Basketball push to next Tuesday then. That's coming down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. We got DJ Peters for the for my Dodgers as our first autograph. That goes to Sen Yin. And Jack Flaherty to 99. Nice one for the Cardinals. That'll be for Matthew. This is out of 10. Look at that. One out of 10, Dustin Fowler. That's for Dan Maddox and the A's. Harrison Bader. Love that Spectra design. 
Raphael Devers, and Greg Maddox. Nice one for the Braves. Coop with the Bravos. Nikki Delmonico, Shohei Otani, and Brandon Woodruff. Prestige autograph for Coop and the Brew Crew. More Otani to 299. And we've got Dylan Peters. We had DJ Peters. Dylan, I don't know if they're, I don't think they're related. That goes to the Marlins. That'll be for Coop. All right, that was box one. Nice start. Chrome random sold out. Nice. All right, so let's get Chrome Random on the schedule here. I'm also gonna, I'm also gonna pull Crown Royale off the site just so someone doesn't accidentally buy the Celtics, thinking that's gonna break tonight. Get Chrome Random on the schedule. So we are done for the night, folks. So let me just type the updated schedule right here. All right, thanks everybody. Good rally, good rally. All right, let's continue with this one. Great. Uh, no, no, that's not that's not until September. I've got a few more weeks before that happens. Uh, Crown Royale will be pushed. Well, Crown Royale, we still have to move. We still have to sell the Celtics, Robert. So that's not even sold yet. So that's going to be, that'll probably be tomorrow or uh, Tuesday. Did not sell out. I actually just removed it from the website so it wouldn't accidentally sell out with someone thinking that it's going to uh, break tonight. So, me? No, I'm not getting hitched, Bill. Jeez, no. What would all my girlfriends think? A lot of Votanis in a row there. Clint Frazier to 199. And we've got some Dustin Fowler out of 199. That is for the Oakland A's. Dan Maddox with the A's. Jack Flaherty to 25. Nice cornerstones. Quad Relic and Autograph. That's very cool. That goes to Matthew and the Cardinals. Had a great start against my Dodgers the other night. Out of 25. That is strong.
Rafael Devers. We've got Paul Blackburn for Dan Maddox and the A's. Nice Paul Blackburn Rovers. Bryce Harper, 6 out of 10. That's a nice low number. We'll get that secured right away. And we've got Clint Frazier. Chronicles jersey, 13 out of 25. Joe Kroll with the Yankees. Last spot mojo. Hitting. Albert Pujols to 199. There's Ahmed Rosario to 99. A couple cards right here, too. Nice Rosario for the Mets. That goes to John R. Bill saying he's here, Raphael Devers out. Devered, Devers out. You have 14 different rookie autos, and you can, you got to sell some of those. All right. Next box. The LA Galaxy are tied at the moment. What happened there? Oh, is that penalty kick? Right. That's a stupid penalty. Well, come on, Zlatan. Score another goal here. How are my Dodgers doing tonight? They're up 9 0 on the Padres. All right, so their offense is alive. Didn't seem like it against the Cardinals. And there's Tucker Barnhart for the Reds. That'll be for Bobby Riddle and the Reds. Have I ever discussed what cards you think should get graded? Yes, many times. But what is your... Do you have a specific question, Bill? That's always a common topic of discussion. Should I grade this? Should I not grade this? What card are you thinking of having graded? There's Triple Threat Victor Robles... Two color, triple relic for Ed Ram and the Nats. Forty eight out of forty nine. Nice neon pink. Francisco Mejia for Kip Kip Hooray and the Indians. Nice. Is that a goal? No. We got Dominic Smith out of 199. And we've got Yadier Molina. Spectra Yadier Molina. Ahmed Rosario Crusade out of 50. We've got Cameron Gallagher for the Royals. That'll go to Coop. Um, Bill's asking, is it out of 25 worth grading? Well, it depends on the player. That's always the first and foremost. Depends on the player. Depends on the product, in my opinion. And depends on if there's other similar cards like that out there. There's Francisco Mejia and so, for example, grading is always – to me, grading is always uh, a good thing to do if there were like, you know, 10 other neon blue Francisco Mejias out there and, and you have to differentiate yours from the other one for resale value, right? So that would be one reason to do it. Like, for example, you know, you can get a lot of – 1986 Jordan rookies, right? But it's the ones that are graded 
you know, nine, eight and a half, nine, nine and a half. Those are the ones that are going to get the big money. And the prices jump with every half point increase on, on the grade. Or I guess PSA would be like seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's when you would definitely want to have it graded. A lot of people just like grading it because it will just protect the card. So Austin Roberts is talking about grading a Cornerstones Otani. The, the thicker cards, a lot of people don't like grading the thicker cards because sometimes the edge grades aren't very good. The edge grades aren't very good because they're depend on how the machine cuts it. But I personally would grade it simply to, if it looks good enough to get some decent grades on the card itself. I would grade it merely to protect the card. You know what I mean? To put it, to get it slabbed up, to get it in, encased up, so it'll be protected from the elements. But in terms of value, I'm not sure. I mean, definitely, like, for Bowman, Bowman baseball Otanis, you definitely want to grade those. But I don't know if that's if that's crucial for the Cornerstones Otani that you got earlier today, Austin. There's Bryce Harper to 199. And there you go. James Paxton out of 199. There you go, Robert. Done. Got you. Great year for him. Um, upgrading a book. Yeah, I don't know. I, I actually don't see a lot of books being graded. There must be a reason why. There's Austin Hayes. Nice. Cornerstones. Quad Relic and Auto. And that is for Coop and the O's. Come on, Ultra Pro. Look at this. Unbelievable. That happens. You have a Jeter Downs auto out of 25 Bowman draft. Yeah, I'd, I'd grade stuff like that. Stuff stuff out of Bowman draft, I feel like it's, it's worth grading. You know, it depends on how the value looks. Like if he's, if he's, especially if he's selling for a lot. Or if you think that he could sell for a lot at some point. You know, you could have the first graded card on the market. There's Dominic Smith. I feel like that's when grading is most common with stuff like Bowman Draft, even Topps Chrome Baseball that we're about to do a little bit later tonight. Stuff out of there seems to be the ones that are most commonly graded in terms, in order to increase the value if the card looks like it's going to grade well. Otherwise, I feel like it just becomes a matter of personal preference. Some people are like, eh. I don't need to grade the C and Hap, but some people are like, I will grade the C and Hap just to get it slabbed up. All right, is that four? No, we should have one more. We should have one more hit out of here in this last box. Nikki Delmonico. Ah, it's going to be points? Come on, points. We got, a, we got a busy night ahead of us. I don't have time to randomize that. All right, well, let's randomize that. <laughs> let's go to random.org. Let's go back to the list, actually. Let's get everyone's names. Let's get them into this list. Come on, low number, low number, low number. Nice. One and a three, four. One, two three, and four. After four times, Matthew Bodner, a little consolation prize for you, 150 points coming away. There you have it, folks. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. Um, the next four-box break, which will happen on Tuesday, will be um, from a fresh case. So keep an eye on that. I'm sure it'll sell out quickly, just like it did tonight. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time, jazbeeshobbyland.com.